We do have readies. We have a three, two, one, pills. All right. Happy Dr. Mario birthday to Luke as we get underway here. Um, liking Savage's starting board a little bit better. Um, she's got a little bit more color diversity, whereas Luke had a lot of yellow, but fortunately he was getting yellow and his board's starting to look a lot better now, Larva. Yes, um, he does have, he still does have a lot of blue in the center of his board. A lot of them are doubled up, um, ways that he can really easily take care of them. Um, he's taking care of this one at the bottom. Um, Savage with a very nice um, drop combo there. And now she's got a lot of blues on the, her top line. Yeah, Savage took that um, sacrifice at the drop time to get get a really nice drop combo, as you mentioned. But yeah, just a lot of blue at the top of this board here for Savage. She does have the opportunity to maybe get some sweet teas here out of the out of the bottom. She does elect not to do that. Clears out the the blues in her row two horizontally as Luke is out at a 107, but Savage not too far behind. She just needs a couple more. Oh, and that red blue, perfect. And then followed by a double blue. She's only going to be mm -hmm. about nine seconds behind Luke at this point. Um, and I did see Luke shaking his head. I'm shaking his, my head at his board right now. There's no blues that are exposed, ready, anything. Um, so I do like Savage's board a little bit better at this point. Hopefully she gets some reds so she's not overrun with them. We'll, we'll see how that works out. Yeah, uh, Savage was actually in a little bit of a same situation there with her blue. She only had the one there in her column one that she could really get to. But she's able to open up some more access with a really nice Ooh. combo that she just made. And loving the drop combos that Savage is making. She's just making some really great plays here. As we look over at Luke's board, gosh, that is a lot of yellow. Um, but possibly a yellow rush? Okay, one in a... He, he ended up getting two, which is not quite a rush, unless I missed one. But still, great job. Oh, and look at this combo that he's going to set up. Once he gets a yellow to wedge in between here, it's going to get a huge combo. Elects to uh, not take the drop time. Savage, though, she only has three left, and two of them are going to be these blues together. This yellow's going to do it. She's going to be out at a 228. 228? That's like a, a minute 12 level 7 for Savage. That was insane. Yeah, that was that was wonderful play from Savage. Um, doing really well with her board. I like that tuck that, that she used. She could use all parts of the pill. Uh, we like to see that. Luke's just waiting on a couple of yellows. Just this one last one. He's out at a 257. 257. And anything sub three out of level seven is really the pace that these players are looking for. So Luke absolutely still on a really nice pace. And, you know, we saw in game one of the last match where Betty was uh, quite a bit behind and then just came out and destroyed in, in her level nine. So anything can and probably mm -hmm. will happen in this game. Exactly. Um, there's always RNG, whether it is nice to you or not, uh, that's debatable. Um, but sometimes it can really help you or it can really hurt you or it can do both at the same time. Yeah, getting back to the, the match, uh, looks like Luke may have had a little bit of a misdrop in his columns one and two, wanting that red blue to go the other way. I didn't exactly see what happened there, but that's certainly what it looks like. So his his entire board now as Savage out at sub four, about a 355, his entire board now is just... Um, centered around his columns one and two, really trying to get creative in how he's opening up his access. Would love to see a red blue for him right now. And I got to guess that that top red in his column one is going to be the very last thing he clears out. Mm -hmm. That would be what I would do if I were him. And then build up underneath. I think that's exactly what he's trying to do. Mm -hmm. He's just got to wait for a couple of reds and he's going to be out at a 434 so 434 but so only an 18 savage, by differential but savage is is blowing through this she's about half a level ahead um in this level nine 
Yeah, Savage has just done a really amazing job. The issue that Savage is having now, she's really dependent on red and blue. And I know we also said in the last match that that's, that's not really a combination that you want to rely on. And unfortunately, that is the situation right now for Savage. Would love to see some more reds and blues for her, obviously. I was going to say would love to see a red-yellow, and then she got the red and blue that she needed. So she has just done really, really nice job here. She's down to just five viruses remaining. Um, probably going to go for that horizontal. She does. She's just going to need to clear out this red to open up. And actually, she's not even going to need to clear out the red because she's got the horizontal yellow. Just going to need three more reds. There's one, two, and three. We have our third sub six of 2024, and it's only the second matchup. Was great from Savage. Um coming back after that six she just demolished the rest of the board that's the only way i could say it is that she just demolished it mm -hmm. there are other things i could say but they're much more in the shucky darn realm <laughs> Yeah, Luke, um, yeah, he's going to go ahead and finish this out, it looks like. Um, as, a, as a side note, a 541 does tie for the top 20th hot time. So Savage is, once again, tying records here. But look at that drop combo from Luke to get out. 630. 6, 630, 630 is still a really respectable time. Exactly. That's, that's a time I would like um, when I play 6 to 9. So... Very good uh, GGs to both players. And like we said, um, we've said last year um, and previously, it, you can't really beat a hot time. It, there's not much you can do other than try to get another hot time. But again, there's only so much you can do with that. Yeah, hot time strats, PB strats are mm -hmm. nine times out of ten the way to go. We did see that, <laughs> that one with... Um, yep. Ook and Floyd last season, which was crazy. But uh, we do have readies from both our players. We have our countdown. Three, two, one, and pills. Luke going to be out of the gate first with a really strange looking starting board. But Ooh. look at the double blue. Oh, my Ooh, goodness. I love it. Mario just looks at Luke and says, hey, weird board. I got you, bro. He looks at Luke and says, Oh, a zoomer. Yes. Now looking over at Savage's board, it's really interesting to see because she's got all this red and yellow that she's having to fight through. I'm wondering if she will potentially, she is, she's going to mm. go for the, set, the drop combo um, with the real, the real fat L, but she's going to need a double yellow to do it. Oh, and there, there it, it is. is. Wow. Wow. Both of these players she just getting double the... pills when they exactly need it. She was setting up. Um... She decided not to go. Um, with that one particular strat, which is fine. She had um, potentially a blue horizontal on top of a red horizontal. Um, she decided to, to do that a little differently, um, which is perfectly fine. She is out into her level seven. Um, Luke is still working on this one last red, a couple more blues. There it goes. And then the red... And he's going to be out at a 127. All right, 127. As Savage Octagon gets a uh, one of her trademark sweet teas as Luke's getting out of that level. It was really nice to see. A lot of red and a lot of yellow on the top of Savage's board here. But she's doing a really nice job getting those tucks in. You see her tucking in there to get the reds and drop down the blue. It does potentially set her up for this right here, that very Ooh. long vertical. And now she's got the red set up horizontally at the bottom. Just really smart um, plays by Savage, doing everything she can to use every pill she has to the best of her efficiency. Exactly. And if she can, she has to think about it the right way. 
Oh, she's trying. She has multiple horizontal setups, so mm-hmm. hopefully she can take those in the right order and not break any of the ones that she's trying to get. Yeah, okay, you she saw- decides to take that one um, vertically, which I think is a good idea. Yeah, you saw her avoiding the her, the horizontal blue earlier, and if she had taken it, it would have messed up the yellow horizontal she had just above that. So really nice plays by Savage, but Luke here, uh, down to seven viruses remaining. He's had a pretty nice level six, setting up for maybe a fat log here if he can get the blue yellow. And at, at this point, I think he's exactly got to go for it, and he's going to get go. it. Logging out at a 303 is Luke. And Savage just now getting to some blues. She did have to use some as some strategic garbage. Um, But now she's pretty well opened up everything and has access again to all of her colors. Um, Luke, uh, Luke, sorry, with a very nice uh, combo over there. um, Has a lot of red, uh, I'm sorry, yellow and blue, of course I know colors, um, over on the left side of his board um, with not a huge amount of access to red. So hopefully, again, he can get the RNG that he needs. Yeah, and Luke's done an amazing job with all this yellow and blue that he's been getting to keep the garbage as low as possibly Um He's done a really good job of it, but unfortunately for him, Savage has just had another really great run here. We saw just saw just saw her get out at a 406, which is just blazing time. Uh, Looking Mm -hmm. at her board right now. It's decent. It's not my favorite, but it's definitely something that she can work with. She's going to have to work down to the yellows just a little bit as her top line is completely red and blue at this point. But look at her setting up the horizontal. I love that combo. I wanted her to make that combo. Before it came up, I was like, I hope that she gets this color combination so she can make this combo that I would make. Yeah, absolutely. Really nice heads up play by Savage Octagon. Um, Over on Luke's side, he's just needing a few more reds and one more blue. Um, Interesting to see where he decided to do that red. Um, thought he might go for the one at the bottom first, just to just to avoid some drop time. But he gets out at a 501. Still pretty, still pretty decent time for for Luke as he goes into this final level. But it's looking like it may be too little, too late for him as Savage with 14 now 13 viruses remaining. Mm-hmm. And as of right now, Luke doesn't really have any access to yellow. Um, that's I think gonna hurt a little bit. Um, I do like that he's been able to use blues very efficiently. Um, that's always kind of what we want to see. I think that, um, might've been a misdrop from him. Um, but Savage, again, could be out sub six. It's going to be a 546. 546, only five seconds slower than her last, uh, than her last block absolutely insane great good j J good james good games uh by both our players but it will be savage octagon moving on and she will move on to play the winner of packy versus ramsey fox which will